Before the Moto Vlog, guys, I hope you enjoy it, by the way. I'm editing this. I just want to say, how cool is that? I just want to say thank you so much for the goddamn support. If you want to be notified when a new video is posted, make sure you hit that little bell by the sub button. Hit that like button if you like that shit. 16,000 shirts sold. Link is always in the description. Love, respect, and video. And six foot stop with no hands. He's never done it before. I would love to do it on a, on a... Yo, I had an idea and I've wanted it for the longest time and I... Back then when I wanted it, I still worked on my other job. And, um, hashtag blessed. You guys have blessed me with this opportunity and I couldn't, couldn't stress it enough that I love you guys for that. And, um, back then I really wanted a stunt bike project, but I couldn't really afford it. But now I'm in a different financial situation and if you guys would want to see some stunt bike footage... Let me know and also hit that thumbs up button. So if you really want to see some stunt bike footage and like literally my progress through stunting, because I know a few people that stunt like um like Pimmy, everybody like they're in their own little group and stuff. And I've been so busy that I haven't really communicated with them a lot. But I'm I'm so down to have some stunt bike footage for you guys. If you guys are interested in that, please let me know because it's also something that I've always wanted to do. And I'm the type of guy that I, I told Habibi Nani, the guy that I'm doing um. The guy that I'm doing collaborations with now on like vlogs and like challenges and skits and stuff. I totally blinked out. I have no idea what I was saying. Give me a minute. Oh yeah, I told Habibi Nani that I was, I'm the type of guy that wants to do so many things. I have so many projects, but I literally start the second project before I finish the first project. So at the end of the day, I start 10 projects and none of them are done because I want, I, I'm so like into starting new things. For example, my custom decal company that I started. I did custom decals for maybe 10 people. And then I finished and just didn't do anymore because I've been so busy with other stuff and stuff like that. The Aim High Clothing, the motivational brand that I'm opening, I really want to start, guys. And I've been doing it. I have a few more things to figure out and then I'm bulk ordering everything. So you guys can be uh, a part of that movement as well. The hashtag Aim High movement. That's banging like a boom, boom, big a dang, dang. Yeah, I did that for attention. I'm sorry. <laughs> and no kids look, so not too cool. Why are the kids hopping fences? What the hell? It's one of those movies where you see someone hopping a fence and there's literally like a door next to it. God dang, these tight jeans, man. These skinny jeans that I'm rocking, like, yo, I'm trying to be the next, like, young thug. What do we have here? What do we have here? It's called construction. Gosh dang it. Hashtag wall terrific. Yo, there's got to be a six foot subscriber in that crowd. There has to be. Let me make some noise. No, I won't. Where are they at? Six foot, you are not that fucking cool. That awkward moment when you're literally sitting there staring at them, but they don't know that. And then you're just waiting for someone to say six foot. And then you just, you know, you're like, oh my god, I'm the coolest person ever. And they say, how do you take a picture? And then you're like, yeah, guys, I'm out. I'm an all-star. Goodbye. Oh, crap. I'm Canadian, so I can do that. You know, letting people right through. What's that? Thank you. It's funny, because, like, when someone says something, usually it's, like, nice bike. So I don't even know why I bother saying what's that or like excuse me because I know they pretty much saying nice bike because I have a nice bike and it's fucking awesome but he did look a little bit intimidating at first so I don't I didn't know if I should nod or not so I had like a split second like just like brain fart or just like not nodding but then I figured to get more awkward if I didn't nod so I just gave him a nod where you went bang 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 and also guys if you do watch my life vlogs whenever I stumble and mess up I just kind of like just just go along with it and stumble like ten times harder. So when I talk about the actually, I have a perfect idea of where to go and do my drone footage. And you guys, let me know in the comments if you can guess where I'm going. Um, I'm gonna tell you guys once I'm actually there and parked. But if you can figure it out before I park, let me know because the area is familiar. I can confirm, guys. My fingertips are a little frosty right now, so. I am starting to not, like, I'm starting to lose feeling in them. Oh, shit. Okay, guys, we're closing in. Let me know if any of this looks familiar. Can I go straight from this lane? I guess we'll find out. Um, guess we can. Definitely not on a red light. No! Oh! All right, y'all ready? Gotta hide my eyes, because people recognize me here. Let's hit him with that swerve. Nope, I was gonna swerve really cool way beanie kind of thingy but there's a guy there mr mail man you got a t-shirt on dude it's freezing this place sickens me when i when i when i'm here i don't know why i'm here because i'm a thug and thugs do this
I also practice my CBR 250 wheelies here sometimes and then once at Dixie Mall when I crush my nuts and it really hurt. So I will try to get some Instagram photos, some Facebook and Twitter photos and also do the drone shots. So we'll see you guys pretty damn soon. And I hope you guys enjoy this crappy footage. Why? Because it's crappy and I'm no expert at flying drones. I'm still learning. I haven't flown it for, I haven't flown this drone for a little bit. And I still want to get better and stuff like that. I obviously want to go to better spots. This is a legit crappy spot, but it's better than nothing. And it's actually kind of like paranoid because we all know that the shitty supervisor that, that tried to fire me here um, really likes to fuck with me. So I'm pretty sure he would send his goons after me. Um, while here so i kind of wanted to do it real quick time the magical glove the second magical glove and it's coming right back off because we need the keys in our pocket boom 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 and um if you guys do have any idea where i can find or borrow some florida bikes i'm probably going to florida with another person to do dual vlogs for the motorcycle channel and if you guys do have any idea where i can find some motorcycles to borrow Preferably like if we can kind of like manage to get like a, a sport bike then like a supermoto and stuff like that to, to have variety in the videos Even if a dealership is down to like hook us up and like we'll you know be like yo check these guys out and the dumb dunk because that's how YouTube works, right? Hopefully there's no glass otherwise I'm screwed. Oh, there's glass. Nope. That's bird poop. Funny story. I was working here. Some lady was super drunk bought like brought like a uh, She brought like a freaking mattress or whatever into the mall slept on it in the middle of the mall and um, we tried to get her out and her response to me, guess what it was? I'm pretty sure I talked about this one time. She told me to suck her dick and literally ran out of the mall, ran across here and ran drunk across the street and then we're not allowed to cross the street because we're security and like we have boundaries and stuff. So I couldn't do it, but uh, that's pretty much the story. Um, it's not that interesting, but it's funny. And And the tunnel exhaust is a lot better, yes. Junk King, clear the clutter, call the king. I like that, clear the clutter, call the king. It could be a tongue twister. Clear the clutter, call the king, clear the clutter, call the king, clear the clutter, call the king, clear the clutter, call the king. Okay guys, that was me trying to be cool and almost, I'm doing it again. That was me trying to be cool and literally almost freaking running into a car. I thought I could break in time and I literally couldn't. Oh my God. Dude, my butt is throbbing right now. Like it's going like this and I'm doing it again. Okay, that was the, one of the worst decisions. I, 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 oh my God. I felt super comfortable. I felt super, super comfortable. And I literally almost face planted into a goddamn car. I'm done, I'm not riding. Guys, if you have any close calls, by the way, stop doing that stuff. Stop taking your hands off. If you have any close calls, let me know in the comments below what kind of close calls you have, actually. Because I'm curious, how many of you have had close calls? I had many, many, many close calls. The majority of them not my fault because I'm freaking amazing and I never do that kind of stuff. Don't follow me. You won't make it, is what that sticker says. Yeah, so let me know, guys. And I'm going to be super Canadian and, and let this guy in slowly, patiently. Oh, okay. That was... That was not on purpose. And I'll be hitting up this Walmart and probably a few other spots today because I really got to buy some extra stuff for a few projects I'm doing. Dum da dang 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 ding diggy diggy. If you guys haven't watched the puke challenge, the banana and sprite challenge with me and a buddy, make sure you go watch it on my life vlog channel, Six Full Life. It's called the banana and sprite challenge and I literally freaking yak my guts out. And we also did the shock collar challenge with Habibi Nani on my other channel as well. So make sure you guys hit those two videos up because those were really, really fun to make. And with that being said, guys, I think I'm going to call it a day. A nice, quiet ride. Nothing crazy. Just my thoughts inside my helmet. Sharing it with you guys. And um, we will see you guys on the next vlog slash moto vlog. Life vlog slash moto vlog. Deuces. That guy was legit meditating. Holy moly cannoli. I know you like, you like my shit. I know you like, you like my shit. 
I know you like this So like my shit This is a PS Records production